Hey YouTube, um, this is Chris again. Uh, came home, uh, did a little trading today. I got a um, couple of new XDMs. Um, I'll do two videos on them, so show, that way I can, um, you know, show show each gun off fairly. Um, but I went ahead and uh, traded a couple of guns for these two. Um, really an XDM fan they they get a lot of pub on guns and ammo magazine but let's see which one this one is okay this is the the OD green 40 uh, whenever I first got it I looked at it and it was in a little rough shape but I uh, I was glad that the guy didn't clean it because I, I, I like doing that kind of stuff it lets me should know if a guy I mean if it's functional it'll have a lot of dirt on the inside and if a person cleans it I just you know, I don't feel good about it until I go to the gun range to shoot it. As you can see, now it's in beautiful shape. I believe this is the older XDM model, though, because the serrations on it are different than the newer ones. But I could be wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't claim to be any gun expert. I just give the review on how I see it. Also, anytime that you... I traded, actually, a uh, Sig P229 double action only, uh, about five to $600, $550 to $600 gun for this. Um, I do encourage people to at least take pictures of their guns. Um, that way, you know, you can use them, of course, for insurance. Um, a lot of insurance companies do not cover weapons on your on your home insurance, so you have to purchase a secondary insurance. I found that out. Um, my renter's insurance, I do live in an apartment. They do uh, they do cover up to $2,000 on guns, so, uh, which won't, I mean, that will buy maybe two of my guns, so... I would I would be in a bad shape if I lost all of my weapons. But um, you you also want to get them, of course. Here in Oklahoma, we don't register firearms. Uh, we do if we purchase them from the store. But if we uh, tr buy if we buy from another individual or sell uh, sell to another individual or trade with them, um, it's always good to get their license information. Some people feel weird about that and if they do then you probably shouldn't be doing business with them but this is also a way that you can keep record on things um, I save all my emails uh, from arms list and um, also I of course do videos on all my unboxings um, I'm gonna try to start getting more of those videos up on YouTube though however uh, it does come with night sights I'll get back to the gun uh, it has an OD green um, a polymer frame um, it does have a uh, metal top uh, do it does look like it's really well built what I like about what Springfield has done with these XDMs they've really take a you know Glock was the first one to come out with these polymer based guns and they just really taking Glock's ideas and just really just surpassed them in my opinion I love Glocks don't get me wrong they will always function no matter what kind of situation you know you put them in uh, I saw a video of a guy put it burying a Glock 22 for two years and him and about 20 other people they step up and they shoot 500 rounds of ammunition through it so that thing built like a you know like a champ but XDM to me has really made their gun they put they put a uh, they put designs in their guns that just made them just look great uh, you see them on the cover of all these magazines and uh I just think it's pretty cool, but these are my first two XDMs, by the way, that I do own. I, I did put another in layaway, the Compact 45 model, uh, which, man, it looks beautiful. And they, they just come with a ton of accessories. I probably won't use very many of them, but <laughs> if I ever had to, I mean, my goodness, they, 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 they do, uh, no wonder why they, they're so expensive. <laughs> but they, okay, this uh, 40 caliber, they come with uh, three 16-round clips. And they do have a magazine holder with it, a speed loader, and a holster. Okay. One thing I found out that my daughter is playing with her dog. Hi, baby. Hello. Well, one thing I do did find out about it. I noticed that whenever I uh, I. Uh, I was looking at the speed loader. It had a tack rail on it. And the first instincts, let's be honest, probably what everybody's instinct would be is, why in the world would they want to put the tack rail, I mean, the speed loader on the bottom of your gun? So I got on YouTube and I started searching around because, 
And I didn't want to be the idiot to actually slide this on the bottom of your weapon. But apparently, the reason what it does is it actually slides on the side of your magazine cache like this. So you always, like if you're out in the field and you bring your ammunition, you can have it. I mean, I never use speed loaders, but, you know, I just want to know what it was for. So that's apparently what it was. Um, this filling on the side of it, also I noticed that on the side of the box, it looks like there's a tack rail. I, I never noticed that before, and uh, as I started doing the video, I just felt it, you know. Anybody who, who uses a lot of, who has a lot of guns, they, they know what the tack rail feels like. So, I don't know. Maybe I can try to see if this actually slides onto it. I don't know. Let's see real quick. I don't know what they would be for. Maybe if you want to take a laser light or... Yep, it surely does. Fits out right fits right there on the side of it. Huh. I don't know. Make a good little lock, I guess, but <laughs> those I guess that's what those are for. But okay, well that's uh that's the OD Green 40. Um, I'm about to do a video on the, the black 45 full size as well. Okay, well let me know what you guys think of uh of it all. If you all have the same type of gun, I'd like to know if you've had any problems or any malfunctions or yeah, just let me know how great it is. Okay, you have a good day and God bless. Thank you.